My name is Peter McKeith. I'm the Dean of the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design. It's my privilege to welcome you to the school, to its students, faculty, staff, uh, its alumni, and its extended fellowship really across the country and the world. I've been here at the Faye Jones School as Dean since the summer of 2014. I'm now entering my seventh year as Dean. And it is a privilege uh, to be the Dean of a school with such history, uh, with such strengths, and with such potentials for the future. Welcome to the school, welcome to our programs, welcome to our people, and welcome to the transformative world of design education. Welcome to the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design. Design is only limited by your imagination. Design is innovation in material technologies. Design is working with your community. There is no greater charge that can be posed on us than the opportunity to really make people happy. Design is learning different perspectives. Design is thinking about the environment. Design improves people's quality of life. The mission of the school operates on a number of different levels. First and foremost, always will be serving our students well. Giving young men and women from across the state, across the nation, in some cases international students, an opportunity to develop skills, to problem solve, to appreciate how design allows them a voice of change as well as creativity, not just about beauty, but about vision. The legacy of Faye Jones is as someone dedicated to practice and dedicated to education, and we take that legacy quite seriously. But we now seek to be more than that by asking ourselves more questions, harder questions, in order to address more complex challenges collectively as a school. What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in the middle of one of the nation's highest concentrations of mid-century modernist design? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in the middle of one of the nation's leading high growth, low density metropolitan regions? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in the middle of one of the nation's designated resiliency regions? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in a state with urgent healthcare and aging issues? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in a state with several of the nation's leading data and logistics driven corporations? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design in a state that is 60% forest? What does it mean to be a school of architecture and design committed to racial and social justice? Listening to these questions that our students pose, you should hear engagement with architecture, with landscape architecture, with interior design, all the defined disciplines of the school. But you also will hear how we are working in interdisciplinary and collaborative ways, in preservation design, in housing design, in resiliency design, in mass timber and wood product design, in data-driven design, and health and wellness design. All of these are the collective questions and the collective purposes and the collective mission of the school. The school is situated uniquely right at the center of the United States. That is a unique position to be in because there are several ecologies, socioeconomic as well as physical ecologies, that are represented within this state. What I enjoy most about being a design student is the opportunity to create tactile change. Students coming to the Faye Jones School need to be very open-minded and willing to give themselves to the design process. It is such a good place to learn more about yourself and more about like your design aspects and what you want to do in life. The Walker Hall was built in 1936 to serve as the university library. And it was a very special building because it was the only classical revival building built in its period. The president of the university thought that a library ought to reflect the great works of ancient Rome and ancient Greece, and thus it's a little bit different from the buildings around us.
fact, I arrived to this school at the precise moment, really, when it had entered into a new building and a renovated Fallwalker Hall. Uh, and of course, that entire construction, uh, designed by our faculty member, Marlon Blackwell, and his office, together with our alumni at Polk Stanley Wilcox, uh, that, uh, that effort has gone on to win an AIA uh, National Design Honor Award. So the Stephen L. Anderson uh, edition uh, really came about with the need to get all three disciplines, architecture, landscape, interiors, under one roof, to allow for opportunities to grow together, to collaborate together. What we were after, both outside and inside, was resonance. Not just trying to be contrast or just trying to make it look like what came before it, but to resonate with it. The new studios allow for uh, larger studios, more collaborative studios from the different disciplines. Uh, I think the auditorium is now becomes a large format classroom as well as for lectures. Uh, the uh, gallery uh, is a, a gallery that really acts as a gallery. It's designed like a, a professional gallery. Uh, it can be secured so now we have traveling exhibits from all over the country, all over the world. Students can see in a didactic way how we build today versus how we used to build. We even did things like when we had to take down the 200 year old oak trees, we recycled that wood and turned it into a 25 foot by 5 foot tableau, which tells the story of those trees, uh, but also kind of gives it new purpose. Everything in the building is a teaching, a way of teaching. The exit stairs for us are a formal joint between the old and the new. Rather than just being a line, you know, like a cock joint or something, it's space. It's a spatial joint, it's a formal joint. And what we decided to do there is to make that joint as transparent as possible. The materials of the original side come from a quarry in Indiana, the limestone uh, cladding. So we went to a nearby quarry in Indiana uh, and extract limestone for a, a, a new technology, a limestone rain screen cladding. Uh, so with more open joints, uh, something that drains better, but a very contemporary envelope system. And then we develop a custom uh, curtain wall, uh, steel and glass with a 200 foot long briselet, all of it fabricated uh, right here in Northwest Arkansas. The spaces we use for design education are an integral part of the experience of learning how to become a designer. Let's tour the building and see how the spaces of Vol Walker Hall are part of the teaching and learning process at the Faye Jones School. The studio space is a place where actually you're going to form the greatest friendships that you've ever had. You're going to examine these uh, problems and make things out of chipboard and clay and all these wonderful materials and you have your own space to do it. A lot of schools you have to share a studio desk your first year or first and second year. Some schools you never get a dedicated studio desk. Here at the Faye Jones School, from your first day as a freshman to the time you graduate, you have your dedicated studio space to use 24-7. Design Studio is a hub uh, for me. It's a hub for creation, conversation, criticism, and collaboration. Studio is uh, students working together with one or more professors to uh, problem solve on a particular design problem. The studio itself is a place where they can come together and actually build, make models, make drawings, and actually explore these ideas through physical making and drawing, and they get to sit down with their faculty members and work at a table and sketch with them, and Design Studio allows that to happen. One of the great things about the Faye Jones School is that we have a very low teacher to student ratio, which allows students and teachers to really get to know each other, particularly in the design studio sequence. Class is 100% different than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like other college classes that were like, you know, sit down, write a paper, take a test, study. Studio kind of follows you home and changes your life, really. Design Studio to me is more of like a community in a sense. I've made some of my closest friends in the studio. They see you on your worst days, they see you on your best days. I think there's nothing quite like it, there's no hiding from them. <laughs> you go out to eat together, you party together, you work together.
One of the great things about the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design is our legacy of craft. And that really goes back to Faye Jones and his attention to detail. I'm Justin Tucker. I'm a fabrication specialist at the Faye Jones School uh, with a particular focus on wood technology and design. Uh, right now we're in the wood lab. Um, also, we call it the wood shop. And um, here students make many amazing things. We have all the basic traditional tools that you would expect, um, hand tools, power tools. Students who work in here are capable of working with wood, steel, glass, stone, concrete. Uh, the wood shop may be a bit of a misnomer. Hi, my name is Randall Dickinson and I'm the Digital Fabrication Specialist at the Fay Fabrication Labs. We have our 3D print lab where we have eight FDM 3D printers. In the laser lab, we have four CO2 lasers for uh, cutting thin sheet goods. I'm Angie Carpenter. I oversee the fabrication labs uh, here at the Faye Jones School of Architecture. We're at the Build Lab. Build Lab is a 7,000 square foot uh, space in conjunction with our on-campus labs. The Build Lab is really focused on large-scale projects. The lab is focused around more advanced coursework and faculty research. People just like kind of bring their ideas in there and pin up work and it's easy to like critique like with the students and stuff like that. The gallery is a really unique space in the Faye Jones School. Um, Throughout the semester, um, students have to put their work up on the wall and get feedback from other students, faculty. From freshman year to the time you graduate, every semester you're going to have experience standing up and presenting your ideas um, to practitioners, to professionals, leaders in the field. So the Faye Jones School sets you up for success outside of the classroom by helping you to develop hard skills and soft skills. Uh, we use presentation and time in the gallery to develop our confidence in a way to work with stakeholders. It was a space that was originally uh, acoustically not very good, uh, not really good lighting in it. Uh, it just was a, a kind of underutilized space. So what we did is we blew the roof off of it, essentially, and put new studio spaces above. Uh, we also took a fabric and stretched it across the 2,500 square feet of the ceiling and backlit that fabric so we have even lighting in it. That fabric's also uh, perforated, so it helps with the acoustics. So we have you new know, acoustical display panels. I just love the, uh, the way it has grandeur of the old, but it clearly has the language of the new. We have a really great auditorium here. It seats about 250 people. It's generally used for our large lecture courses, Design Thinking 1, Design Thinking 2, the Architecture History classes. Um, so it's a large lecture hall. But um, the most exciting thing that happens in that lecture hall is, again, we bring in famous architects, interior designers, landscape architects from all over the world. And usually every other Monday at 5 o'clock, we have a lecture um, from one of these people um, and um, we pack the gallery for those lectures and then after the lecture we always have some sort of social event uh, for you to meet uh, these people that we bring from all over the world. The Smith Exhibition Gallery is new in so many ways for the school in that it provides us with a formal exhibition space one of the great things about the gallery is that it allows us to bring in work from around the world, visiting artists and architects, designers who are showcasing their work, competitions from the American Institute of Architects, the American Society of Landscape Architects have had um, their competition exhibited here. It also is a great opportunity for local artists to have an, a really museum quality exhibition space for showcasing their work. And right now, we're looking at uh, one part at least of an exhibition that was part of an overall competition that we held uh, earlier this spring in February of 2020 to uh, 
try to identify the best architect in the world, essentially, for the design of what is the proposed Anthony Timberland Center for Design and Materials Innovation. The Anthony Timberland Center is that embodiment of our initiatives in timber and wood. It's also a, a dramatic expansion of our overall fabrication facilities. And now we've come to the point where we truly need uh, a high bay, uh, large floor area, fully equipped uh, fabrication laboratory where we can really undertake a lot of these investigations into timber and wood assemblies, uh, construction techniques, new material experimentation from the nanocellular level all the way up to the, the large engineered timber and other engineered material levels. The Sky Terrace really becomes a place of uh, refuge and prospect uh, with these fantastic views to the south out over the Boston Mountains, but also a place to kind of retreat into. The Sky Terrace is really beneficial for me because, I mean, you get stuck in the studio and you're just always there thinking, I mean, five hours of your studio time just in, in there, you know, trying to think of ideas. And the Sky Terrace, a lot of times, will go up there to, like, take a break from class and start thinking outside of studio and just get a breath of fresh air, honestly. I think the best time to go out on the Sky Terrace is um, either at sunset or out for lunch because it's definitely the best lunch spot. That's a brief tour of the spaces that make the Faye Jones School an exceptional experience. The Faye Jones School has a lot of traditions. It's a very kind of unique place. Probably the nuttiest one um, is the, the longest barbecue sandwich. Um, that's, that's always a fun event. Um, to be honest, I've never tasted the barbecue because the students eat it so fast that I never get a chance to get it. The barbecue sandwich was really cool. You've probably never seen one that big. It goes from one door and out the other. You know, the extended sandwich that goes all the way through the entry lobby. And that's always fun because it's a really good, it's a really good moment at the beginning of the semester for kind of all the faculty, staff, and involve all the students together. Um, it's just a really good, like, unifying moment. I really enjoyed the birthday celebration. This past year, we celebrated Faye Jones' 99th birthday and this was the biggest cake I have ever seen in my life. It was huge. Let me tell you, it was awesome. Like, it was some of the best cake I've ever had. They also do like a pumpkin carving, so that kind of brings it more towards design. You had some people carving like some cool architecture. We are a community of welcome. We are a diverse community of future architects, landscape architects, interior designers, urban planners, and community leaders. As a school, we thrive on diversity and we thrive on inclusion. And certainly, design itself, in its ambitions and in its outcomes, thrives on diversity and inclusion. And we welcome students from all across the state, from all of its regions. We welcome all of you in all your diversity, in all your strength, in all that you bring to our school, to this community. Welcome. Welcome to Studio Culture. Welcome to the transformative world of design. Welcome to Thinking Through Design. Welcome to a community of designers. Welcome to Problem Solving. Welcome to Having a Voice Through Design. Welcome to the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs>